All right, we're good. I showed a fucking snake going crawling inside of some girl's fucking pussy, dude. So <laughs> that was awful. Uh, all right, where'd we fucking? Where were we? You sure like calling the people you use for content retards and other slurs? Yet you can't take any sort of criticism or insults without having a fit. Ever thought you might be the biggest retard? Um, I mean, I've been taking criticism for the past two years of my life, dude. Uh, way more than. <laughs> A lot of other people, dude, um, considering everything revolves around me. Um, and EBZ is a fucking retard. He's done so many retarded ass things. Uh, it's just that it's just about the time that I call, you know, I, I tell him that he's being a retard for the shit that he has done. So. Ditched Danny Brown twice, left everyone stranded in North Cali, left Victor stranded in Hawaii, not following promises. Didn't pay viewer for failing 30 day challenge. Would have quit even if not striked. No, I wouldn't have quit it if I uh, wasn't striked and I, you know, if I didn't go through with it, I would have paid a viewer. Uh, I never ditched Victor. Like, I left him, but, like, I was not going to just leave him if he had no ride. I was going to pick him back up. But, obviously, you know, I was just pissed at that moment. Uh, and emotions are strange things, and they make you do stuff that you don't, that you obviously regret. Um, but you know, I was pretty nice to Victor. I paid for an Airbnb for him to be in. I paid for his Hawaiian trip, paid for him to go to, like, I'm not going to talk about it, but he had an Airbnb. He had hotels, private fucking hotels for himself. Like he was fine, dude. Um, and then the Danny Brown thing, I, you know why I left Danny Brown at that bar? I didn't just leave him. I told him where the fuck I was going, by the way. Um, I went because if I can remember, I think Asian Andy was going through some issues. I wanted to be there for him. Reddit is cancer. Uh, and I know, and I've known Asian Andy a hell of a lot longer than I've known Danny Brown, so it only made the most sense. Here we go again. One loser in chat says you threw Sam under the bus, and you think we all said it. You have an amazing talent for picking one idiot out of chat, and think we all agree with it. No, Sam. Yeah, I just uh, I don't like when people hold things over my head. Like, yeah, I fucked up with a lot of shit that I've done, but, like, I've been, I've either amended those things or, like, you know what I mean? Like, I fixed those things. I don't want people to hold stupid shit over my head because we're all human and we all do stuff that's shitty. It's just the way it works, dude. Everyone makes mistakes. Why don't you host a mega reunion show, have every Andy and everyone from the past back and have a battle royal survival of the fittest and allow everyone to plead their case from Cornbread to Hampton? Uh, because, well, I don't want Hampton to ever come near me again. Um, Cornbread doesn't want to be on stream or do anything like that. He's already over it. So, uh, but that, I mean, that's basically what CX Court is for the most cool. part. Let me see. What is this Discord fucking thing here? Hold on. What is this? Lol. Good. Fox News Phoenix should know exactly what CX is. They'll figure it out sooner or later. This security guard isn't going to make it, bro. Uh, I mean, he probably won't, but I mean, we'll give him a chance to see if he can make it. We'll uh, check it out. I'll, see, I'll, I'll we'll get him on here. We'll talk to him for a little bit. So. Your problems wanted with Reddit censored or deleted. People will be fake towards you because you're wealthy and rich. You want to censor people, come out and say it straight. Um, people will still be faked me. You're right. But... My own friends won't be scared to talk to me uh, or scared to come over to this house and like, is there a fucking stream on? Like, I got to be careful. You know what I mean? Like, that's the difference. Pretty rude that everyone made fun of Geisha's leg. Have you seen her now? Show stream. Let's see. What is this? Have you seen Geisha now? I actually have not. Let's see. Show stream. What's going on with Geisha? What the fuck is this, dude? Geisha's really changed a lot. <laughs> what the fuck is... Dude, how do you even make this shit? Okay, like, whatever. That's... What is that thing? Okay. That's... She, she's really changed a lot over the years, hasn't she? You have leaked way more interest than you did not do it intentionally. We all know you're just kissing high phonics ass because Hess pulling bears. If he leaked a dress, you wouldn't ban him. That's no, like, what do you mean, dude? I'm just trying to not be a shitty person. You know what I mean? Like, I, EBZ has leaked stuff in the past. You know what? I've leaked stuff in the past, too. But at least I admit to it. EBZ can't admit to it. That's his problem. And then, uh, like, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to. I told myself when I said I had demons, I was like, listen, 
I need to cut out the toxic shit from my life, the toxic people, the toxic everything. And I've been very adamant to that, to that word and cutting out shit in my life that I deem as toxic, um, like people and whatever the fuck. And EBZ, believe it or not, I think is a toxic person. Um, even if he's helped me in the past, this and that, he has too much pride. Uh, and I have a lot of pride too, but his is just off the fucking charts. And I'm could be I could be a little toxic too, but at least I'm a, at least I can admit that and try to change that. You just admitted you kicked Sam because he got so much heat from Reddit, and you waited for him to make one mistake. Reddit runs your life, you delusional fuck. Uh, I mean, I try not to let it run my life anymore. It used to, and it Is still tries to. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Whether, whether I like it or not, Reddit does dictate my life right now. It, it absolutely changes my mood, and I don't like that. It absolutely does. And it changes the mood of everyone around me. And so I may not take, I may not listen to what Reddit says in terms of like, you know, when they offer like things like, like ideas and like this and that, if they tell me to do something and I don't do it, I may not listen to it in that manner, but they, I 100%, I can't help it. Listen to it emotionally Uh, and same with everyone else around me. And that is the fucking problem. Honestly, that's the problem with my fucking self at the moment. It fucks with me. It does. And it fucks with everyone around me too. And it makes my life a living fucking hell. Your Discord spammed my DMs because I'm a girl. Plaza help. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a bad person. But Reddit loves to portray me and everyone in my life as bad people. Tracksuit's not a bad person. None of these people are bad people, dude. We all just are retards. Uh, that doesn't make us bad. You are doing the right thing, homie. It was good to talk to you on Discord last night. Keep up the good work, guys. We all love you. A toxic free Reddit would be nice. And here's the thing. I don't, dude, I haven't even, I haven't even looked at Reddit in almost a week. I haven't, dude. I haven't looked at Reddit in almost a week. But you know what? Everyone around me looks at Reddit, so I can't help but know what's going on because I can also tell because emotionally they're different. Emotionally, the people around me are have changed in negative ways, honestly. And uh, I can ignore it. I really, I could just not look at it, but other people can't help but not look at it. Oh, hey, doggy, how you doing? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're streaming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know it's rare, isn't it? Uh, let's go. Ice, it's time for you to be alpha about your community. Ban the shit on Reddit you don't like, but don't get triggered about memes. Memes are not hate threats. Here's the thing. That I, includes memes about other people. I'm not getting triggered about memes. I don't even, dude, to be honest, like I said, I haven't looked at Reddit in over a week or like a week almost. Uh, it's the people around me that look at fucking Reddit, and that's the thing that gets to me, dude. Because everyone just gets negatively affected by it. Uh, and if I try to say, like, no, don't worry about it, don't just don't look at it, or this and that, like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, dude. Your environment molds who you are as a person. And if my fucking environment and the people around me are in such negative, negative mindsets because they're reading something they don't like and it's, it's, it just makes them feel like shit, I'm going to feel like shit because of it, too. And I'm just going to be, you know, not feeling great because of it. Bring back Sam and apologize. So, uh, if you want the fucking honest fucking first hand reason why I made the three character thing on Reddit, that's the fucking reason. Yeah, the Reddit is still gonna get fucking banned eventually if I don't do something about it. That's that wasn't a lie, but 100%, I care more about that than the Reddit getting fucking banned. Okay. Like I'm tired of living my life emotionally for like my emotionally Reddit can Reddit controls me emotionally, believe it or not. And I, I, I can't have that anymore. Thank you, Maximilian. I really cannot have it. I don't want it to control me. I can, I don't like that. It controls me. I just can't fucking help it. I can't help it because I'm a human being and the shit that is on there is depressing and it depresses everyone around me. Add Sam Pepper back on the network right now. 
He did nothing wrong, and he is on a road trip right now. He will be content. I mean, he... Uh, no, dude. But thank you, dog. Thank you, Dougie, for the fucking member, dude. Deleting Reddit just isn't that easy, chat. You can't just do that. When a large portion of my stuff have, have was built on there. This is a toxic relationship in the most unique way possible. It really is, dude. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's sort of like I'm dating the Reddit, dude. <laughs> and I don't like that because it's awful to date thousands of people at the same fucking time it really is it's like having five thousand fucking toxic girlfriends that you should break up with at the same time and i know that sounds like i'm being a fucking diva or something or like melodramatic but i'm just i'm like i'm just i haven't felt myself in forever dude i'm like losing it Okay, I hate knowing that if I bring people in my life, their their life's going to get fucked. I hate knowing that people know that they don't want to talk to me because I have a cloud of shit that follows me everywhere I go. I don't like that. Do pay attention. It's a super chat. My username is real1cx. Making me don't need again, roll. Okay, I, I'll... Uh... I'll, I'll look at it right now, dude. Hold on. Paul, the first thing you look better with a beard, but looking clean still. You should do one of those superhero streams again one day. It was fun. Who truly matters in your life, Ice? Victim Andy at its fullest. How about you stream so the hate threads would stop? No, I'd rather just sit here and cry to myself. Here's the thing. Even if I stream, people around me are still going to get hate, dude. There's always hate on Reddit, whether I stream or not. Like, that's a lot of, like, that's part of the problem, bro. Like, you, like, and I'm going to do something. I'm going to have to do something. Like, removing hate threads, though, it's, just, it's not easy, dude. You, it's, it's, it's really hard. It's really difficult. But I, I just, like, I stress about this every fucking day, all day, every day. I'm like, what am I going to do? How am I going to change this? Like, obviously, I know something needs to change. I'm like, how do I change this? What do I do? I don't know what to do because it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's like having, if you're, if your mom is really toxic, right. Or your parents are really toxic. It's kind of hard to just cut them out. Right. Like, of course it is because you have grown with them and you like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's rough. We went grimoire on street. Well, I haven't even, she's not in LA at the moment. I'm not from, not to my knowledge at least. So, uh, if she is, then I don't know. It's funny that everyone wants Sam back, but when he was on the network, everyone was crying over how you needed to kick him off. I like this this more than larger mods, yeah. Let me see. It's Let's only the internet. Reddit. Let them jerk each other off with karma loop. Here's the thing. This guy says, it's only the internet. You should be used to how it is by now. I need some wine. Um, listen. I'm okay with Reddit, dude, it's the it's everything around me, dude, that I'm not okay with. Okay, I'm used to the bullshit. I really am. I'm really fucking used to the bullshit. Um, but the people around me are not. And when they start feeling depressed, guess what? It rubs off on me. And when I'm f surrounded by like fucking 10 people at all times that are constantly getting hate on Reddit, dude, it just sucks. Because I have no control of their emotions um, and I shouldn't have control of their emotions, but what I'm trying to say is something else has control of the emotions for everybody around me. When, if they're my friend, I should be the one who makes them feel good or bad and vice versa, they make me feel good or bad. There shouldn't be this third party thing that makes everybody in my life feel a certain way towards me and towards themselves. Thank you, Brennan. I appreciate the member, dude. Which leads me to have no motivation, no drive, and to be honest, I don't want to fucking do anything because I just don't see the fucking point. 
you know, and like I've argued with some of the people I've never argued with before. I fucking am not myself. I yell at people. I fucking get fucking. I'm just. I, yeah, I just don't like how I am right now. Like, I'm not myself, dude. I'm really not. Sometimes I can be myself, but so I, I, I feel like I've become a different person over the years. And there is a point to this whole conversation. I'm getting to it. Um, I don't want to have... I don't like the change that I've made in myself. Okay, I've become highly defensive. My ego's grown larger. My pride's grown larger. I don't... That's not me. That's, that's, it's just not. But I, you, you, that shit needs to grow for me to be able to deal with the amount of bullshit that I fucking deal with. And, and um, I don't like that, so... If I can't come to a compromise with some some fucking compromise with the fucking Reddit, then I don't know what else to do with it, but I have to cut it out of my life. Like, you know what I mean? I know this sounds like a, so overdramatic, but so overdramatic, but I don't know how, like, it's, I, I've thought a lot about this. And it's literally, it all stems from Reddit. It just fucking does. And uh, I hate to admit that because it makes me seem like a little bitch, but it's true. <laughs> so if we can't come to a fucking compromise, then it's got to, uh, you know, it, it, it just has to be dealt with. If you want things to change, Start by doing all the things you promised. I've had giveaway slash fly out purple suit guy slash fly out sponsors. We are just tired of our fake promises. Listen, man. It doesn't matter what I do. People are still going to give me shit no matter what. Okay? I've given so much money. I've given so much time to fucking toxic ass people in this world. Um that have come that you guys on Reddit fucking personally hate and make hate threads about. I've given everybody my time. I've given people money. I've given people so much shit um, to try to make me the best person I could be. And that doesn't make me a good person because these are toxic ass people. Some of these people in my life are just toxic as fuck. You know, Burger Planet, great example. That motherfucker was so goddamn toxic. And I tried to do so much shit for that motherfucker to make me look like a good person. But I still look like a piece of shit anyways. How much Nick is in that Novo? Love you, Ice. It's zero, Nick. So, like, it's just, like... Can you, you read my last Novo <laughs> before it got disconnected? And yeah, you know, maybe throwing Burger Planet under the bus here. But to be honest, Burger Planet deserves to get thrown under the bus. Fuck that guy. I really hate him. Um, but I pretended not, I pretend not to hate so many fucking people that I have met. Solomon Andy, another great example. Fuck that guy. Um, he was a fucking dumbass retard. Um, who the fuck else? Let me see. Um, and I am going to take Burger off the network. Fuck that guy. I hate him. He's, he's just fucking retarded as shit. He, like he just does stuff that just is so toxic. And I try to help this Dudes, millions of times, dude. And let me see. And I don't even know. It's just other people. Even viewers that, like, have come to my house, dude. Like, some, some viewers, like, a very, very small percentage. Most viewers are very nice and very respectful. Some, though, are so just, they walk in my house and they just fucking go through my fridge and shit. Like, what? Like, it's, and, and you know, and I, I allow it because, you know, I try to be the nice guy. But, like. Damn, that's not a way to live. Hey, Ice. I'm a big fan and I want you to keep your head up through all the mean Reddit BS. It's super hard to treat people with respect, to not be a hypocrite, and work for one to two hours a day. Nick Gurr, you're a big inspiration, Paul. No matter what you do, we are there for you. The real ones. It was an honor to meet you next to TwitchCon and be able to hang out you. 
appreciated man. Thank if you, dude. I'm you, glad you had a good time. Be and be happy. If you don't, your fans will lose you and will have no one to cry to. Chin up. So, I mean, to be fair, I'm at my breaking point. I'm not my, like, I am. I was at my breaking point a month ago, but I still push through it. Like, I am changing. Like, we, there's, there's a compromise that needs to come, or it needs to all just be cut out. Thank you, Sweet B. Appreciate the fucking member, dude. Maybe a big Reddit meme contest. It would be good. We can sprinkle some funny stuff back into it. Andy, you don't... Okay. That, I agree with that. But here's the thing. Some, there are some people on Reddit that are sabotaging the Reddit with downvote bots, alts, upvote bots. It's a very specific sort of thing that some people do to sabotage it. Um, I've seen it. Somebody will post something funny and creative on Reddit. It will be immediately downvoted to like 10% upvotes. And then some garbage bullshit will be fucking posted and it'll just immediately 30 upvotes. So there's sabotage going on. Um, and I've seen it. I've tested it. I've made alts and I've tested it. So I know it's not bullshit. Hey, what was Bjorn? So, you know what I mean? I, so there's basically at the point, there comes to a point where I allow, I, I allow these people that are sabotaging the Reddit to control my emotions and everyone's emotions around me. And it's just not okay, dude. So the ultimatum here is we need to find a compromise and there needs to be less fucking hate and attacking of individuals on Reddit. Otherwise, the Reddit needs to just be, I don't know, dude, locked, deleted, one of the fucking two. As much as I hate to say that, because I grew that baby up from the ground up. I grew that baby up from zero to 100,000 followers. It's like deleting my fucking YouTube channel. But at, there comes a certain point where I'm not living a life anymore. So basically, you waited for Sam to fuck up to kick him off the network because that's what Reddit wanted? Then you say you don't care about Reddit and real friends over Reddit. Sam was a real friend. Lol. I didn't wait for it, dude. I worded that really wrong. Has been pulling bears. If high phonics leaked, the dress you would laugh and care less. It has always had your back. EBZ always had his own back, um, and EBZ came around because and helped me with certain stuff for his own sake. Um, EBZ had a lot of respect for me, but that doesn't mean he wasn't around for his own self-worth or his own self-like meaning, um, 100%. Why are you explaining to these losers you brought? Thank you, Twitch, for the member, dude. Um, dude, not losers. It's just, it's, this is a big part of my life, dude. Go and troll some SJWS. Like, this is a huge part of my life. Like, I know I'm being a fucking drama queen because to you guys... This whole internet stuff is just a fucking form. It's just a hobby. It's just something you do when you get home from school or work. But to me, this is my life, dude. This is my life. And this is a big part of my life. So it, 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 the perspective is so different. And I just can't... Ex I can't even explain it. I can't even get you... I can't even have people rap... Like you, it's so hard for me to have people wrap their head around it. Might want to unmod Sam and chat if you haven't done so. Rumor is he is banning people who say negative things about him. I don't have proof, though. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised, but I mean, who cares? Sam is Not in who cares, chat but... now and is still a mod. How I'll, the fuck listen, are you yeah, still allowing listen, this I'll, to be a mod I'll, on this channel? I'll fucking... Are you totally insane? I'll fucking... You mod him now in front of us FFS. I'll fucking unmod him, dude. He's not... You're right, he shouldn't be modded. That's really fucking weird. I just forgot. Okay, there you go. Chat sounds great. Go back and get your proof. What do you mean, DBL? What are you talking about? Proof about what? Hey, dumbass, stop scamming. My donors already gave you $20, but fuck it, dude. You should do the superhero stream again sometime. It was kind of fun. I want to, yeah. I mean, I want to do something with High again. It was good. Want to talk about the 2K viewers you lost? Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. What's class as a hate thread? What about memes? Don't make content that will cause hate. 
You're starting to try too hard. We like you, Raw. More you and Gary bring back Sam. Prank Cassie. We love her. You know why I try hard? Because... I'm scared of a lot of shit that I do, man. Like when I go live, like I don't know if it's going to be good enough and all this stuff. Like my confidence has my confidence at an all time low. My pride is at an all time high. It's a bad combination. Um, because I know my pride is high because I know that what I've done is something to be proud of. But my confidence is at an all time low because a lot of shit that I do doesn't seem good enough. Um, these are bad combinations. And why the pepper and issues be getting get it over with? <laughs> Thank you, dude. Um, yeah. Dress up like a cop and go into stores and restaurants saying, I've heard you've been getting calls. No, dude. What do you mean? No, this is going to encourage more calls, dude, and I'm just going to get fucking, right, they're going to kick me out. Tool. You control the tool. Don't let the tool control you. I agree. Remove the hate from Reddit. It's a cancer. Everyone hates reading hate, and people stop using it because of it. You're saying you want to get rid of toxic people, so why is PD, SSJ, Kim, and Cassandra still in your life? PD's a good fucking dude. PD is one of the best dudes in my fucking life, actually. So, like, I don't even know how you can even, how you could say that, dude. That's another thing. I need to choose who's in my life and who's not. Not anyone else. I don't want Reddit to fucking tell me who should be in my life and who shouldn't. I can figure that out for myself. Petey's not a yes man. He's just a good guy. All because you're a good friend doesn't make you a yes man, dude. You know what I mean? If there's people like or that are like... If there's somebody who echoed what was said on Reddit, that's not a friend. That's not what a friend does. That's pandering to the fucking Reddit. Pepper lives matter. By the way, Miles Jack was not down. PD is one of the most amazing dudes that I fucking know, dude. He's a good ass guy. Um, and I've met way too many people that do pander to the fucking Reddit that are, and they're just like, oh, but I'm just here to help you, bro. I'm just here to fucking, build. like, no, you're not, bro. You're here for yourself. Okay? Like, I'm not stupid. I can see through who's here for themselves and who's not. Fuck the snake and the all the pepper pills and dibs is the only reason you didn't get your ass kicked and you call him toxic. Um, EBZ can help me out, but still be a little toxic sometimes. Like, I don't think EBZ is a bad person. I just think he needs to admit to his faults a hell of a lot more. People will always judge you, Ice. There is no way to please everyone. Do what you feel is right. This guy, okay, so Soapy here. Stream more, the hate will stop, get a schedule. But I told you, the hate for me might stop. The hate for other people in my life that I care about may not stop. Like to my friends, you know, when Traxu gets hate, like I feel bad for him and it sucks. And I can see it when I go downstairs or when I go in my living room and I see somebody that I'm friends with sad because they look on Reddit and they're fucking sad. Like, damn, that sucks. Like, I feel bad. Like that fucking sucks, dude. And then that obviously engulfs me. The, those, those emotions engulf me and my environment just seems depressing as fuck. So... Streaming more, like, that doesn't solve the issue, dude. There's, we have to, there needs to be a compromise. Reddit went on strike and caused you to change. Maybe it's time for you guys to go on strike from Reddit. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's not really that easy, though, Andy. We went grimoire on stream. I mean, I do, too, to be honest. Grimoire's a good girl. Just admit that you hate him. If it's not toxic, he is pretty chill and can be a troll at times. You got racist fucks like Bjorn running around. Bjorn's not on the network anymore, though. Because he started his own network and he was... And, you know, he, 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 he does say day. stuff. Can you tell Bjorn to unban me, bro? <laughs> I mean, I, I could try, dude. Thank you. No. The real reason they threw Sam out of the CX network in the house is because Cassandra didn't want Sam there and told Ice she would only move in if Sam wasn't allowed in the house. Mm -hmm. Fake news. 
Um, Sam's a way better streamer than Cassandra is. That's definitely not true. What happened to you loving EBZ for months? Now that SSG doesn't want him in the house, he's toxic. STFU Paul, you had him at the mansion on day one. And you were trying to plan streams for him. Um, yeah, hold on. Um, no, I mean, listen, I don't think he's, EBZ's a bad guy, like I said, but he is, his toxic ass tendencies for sure. Does any part of you miss Sam as a friend? To me, he was very relatable to you because he dealt with the same Reddit bullshit for so long. He gets it. Yeah, Sam's a good guy, but, you know, we have, that thing really annoyed me. Um, so, dude, um, what have you been doing all day? Just, you know, driving around and hanging out. I've been driving around. Uh, I do have to ask you something. Yeah. That's very important. Did you secretly record, PD? Yes. What the fuck is by wrong accident? Here? By accident. I didn't mean to. You posted to. it on Reddit. Yeah, I know. We, you talk, we talked about it. We talked about what it. What happened? Tell me about so, it. So, I came back last uh, week, right? Uh, EBZ, you know, we were about to smoke a blunt. Uh, and then, you know, cops were called. So. What's this, how is, then, what uh, does that make? How is that an accident? And then, no, no, no. And then, uh. <clears throat> I recorded the, the cops. Uh, I mean, I turned on the you know the stream when the cops came. Oh, great! Yeah, nothing like recording uh, the cops coming to the house. No, on me. They were like, oh, that makes flashing. it. That makes it so much better. Yeah, because listen, know, the thing that I I found this out today. I didn't even know this, by the way. Oh, he told me he was with you. He like okay. Why did you record somebody in secret oh, 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 and then like, post it on Reddit trying to bait no, them? No, no, I didn't even post anything. I didn't post. Well, it. that's I what I was told, and that's how I found no, this out. No, uh, when I when I turned on the stream, it said low, you know, low health. I didn't even know it was uh, on, and you know, I already apologized to uh, PD. Like me and him already talked. We have DMs. Like, I swear, like I didn't even know it was on. That's such bullshit. You said you turned it on. I did. I turned it on, and then I thought the stream wasn't like on because it, it said bad health. You know, listen, you need dude, this many listen, there's bodies. no need to bullshit me, bro. All right. I'm like, saying. do you want to be fucking security or yes, not? Yes. Yes. Okay, so don't bullshit me. I'm not. I swear to God, dude. You were trying to bait PD because of some fucking motive. Mm -mm. I have no motives. Well, not like that. Let's not, 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 let's not, not shady, not shady motives like that. That's that's fucked up, you know. Like, I'm not a shady guy. That's that's fucked up. You know? I don't think you're a shady guy. I just think that uh, you were trying to th no I throw PD under the no, bus. No, no, trust me. For some kind of karma. No, I don't even go on Reddit because you need two. You need two karma. I only have one car in my cam and dude, you're bullshitting. You swear you to God, can, dude. You can't lie to me, bro. You can look and look. You can look at my real. You big don't go boy. on Reddit. Real big. I swear to God. You're I can't fucking even, bullshit. Look, look it up. Real big boy. Um, that's my username on Reddit. Same thing as. Well, usernames don't really mean too much, but. Fuck it, dude. Um, so I found that um, out today. Yeah. And that was really fucking shitty. It is. It that is. that I, was I, not cool. I told them like. I already talked to him about it. Like it, I, I don't know. Yes, I am nervous as fuck. Jesus Christ. That's all I really wanted to say. I mean, if you want to be security, be security. But don't try to record. Don't don't try to I didn't throw mean to. people under the bus, dude. I swear to God, dude. That's that's fucked up. Like, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I wouldn't do that type of shit. That's fucked up. That's like. Well, you did do it. Yeah, but I didn't mean to. So what you should say is sorry. I, I already told him sorry like a bunch of times. Okay, so. that's not what I was told, but I'll ask. I got I got DMs right now. Like what the hell? From a week ago. All right, I deleted it. Fuck <laughs> it. You deleted DMs with Petey. I, I delete every, with everybody. I only have two, see? Okay, dude. Hey, hey, Petey, come through right now. I know you got the DMs. Send send the DMs right now. You left me on red. Okay, bro. I remember it, too. 
so far. Hey, what's up, what's up? You're gonna have to redeem yourself to me. You better work your fucking butt off as security, because now I'm gonna be even more likely to fucking fire you otherwise. Because that was not okay. It's not okay. I know. You deleting the DMs, I find that bullshit. You don't just delete DMs. I don't even delete fucking DMs. I get a million fucking DMs. PD, come through right now. You know, like, he has the DMs. I, I, I delete all my text messages, too. You couldn't even look. All so, right. PD, come through. The channel will be ready. We smoked a blunt, literally. Like, I smoked him out, dude. Like The channel will be chill. ready in, like, seven hours. So right. when it's ready, just go live on it, and let's see what you got. For sure, for sure. All right, I, I really... Can you I'm, tell PD to come through and Yeah, still? I'll tell PD really, to come through really, you can talk to him. I really want to, like, you know... Is PD in the stream right No, no, he's not, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll message him. Because I don't want you to think I'm a liar, dude. Come on, like... I really want PD to come over here and, you know, like, talk about this between us, you know? I don't think you're a bad person. Let me just reiterate that. I just think that, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, people get caught up with shit, mm -hmm. and it's hard to remember that... Um, you know, some of the stuff that you do might have consequences. Definitely, definitely. Like, I've done, I've done it, and I still do it. Like, sometimes I do shit that has real consequences towards other people. And that sucks. But no one's perfect. So, like, I'm not gonna, I don't hold it against you, dude. I don't care. Okay. I just wanted to tell you, so you know that, definitely, definitely. you know, that uh, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tr trust me, I really want to fix it. 100%. All right, you can go back downstairs. All right. See you, man. Later, dude. There's one example of people who are just, I'm very nice to, but just, like what, like he recorded a, like a conversation and tried to put it on Reddit. Sucks, but her new separation of life and streaming has degraded her online personality. Only been watching since August, but seeing the joy you have in old vibes hurts. Some clips with CBU seem so happy. You spend all this time doing a podcast, trying to fix people's perception of you, when all it comes down to is delivering content. Stop talking about the hate, or whatever. Just make content. Yeah, but we already discussed why that's not the complete fix to everything. See, so yeah, it's in the chat. Well, tell him to be gone. Well, I don't want to just get rid of him, Muggy, because at the same time, content, right? Like, at the same time, I want a security guard. So, th this is why it's, it's really difficult for me sometimes. Like, there's, you gotta, I gotta, like, I can't hold shit against people, and I never do. Be, like, I try not to, at least, because I do want, you know, content, <laughs> so... Instead of providing content, you are sitting here baiting donations. If you want the hate to stop, then provide content, you dumbass, please. If you're just going to sit and do nothing, then end the stream. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that, homie. CX in the chat. Thank you, Dougal. Appreciate it, dude. You deleted Brandon's DMs? Well, I did delete Brandon's DMs because he fucking... Watching you. I blocked him and shit. When I lost my ha -ha. Thanks for making me laugh through a tough time. Come to Ireland. One day, man. Ireland, I hear, is a really I nice place. I to you. That's toxic. You would have got beat up if you didn't help in Hawaii. You're really going to call him toxic for accidentally leaking an address. Also, stop the Tomazepam. Trust me. I take Tomazepam uh, no more than three times a week. And I, uh, then I take Unisom the rest of the week, um, which is an over-the-counter, like, thing. Um, yeah, EBC has helped me in a lot of situations. But he's leaked many things, dude, and he's done many stupid things. 800 million people go to sleep blank every night because they have no food. How entitled can you be to cry about a forum where people sometimes say mean things? Okay, everyone's different in this world. You can't really compare me to a starving African child. Because I am not a starving African child. I have my own problems, and so does everyone else. Pizza 1767 Orson Avenue, apartment one zero. That's like saying, hey, uh, my fucking girlfriend broke up with me, and my parents killed themselves, and my brother died in a car crash. But at least I'm not a starving child in Africa. Like, dude, it's okay that to be sad. It's okay, you know, if you feel fucking shitty because of that scenario, even if you're not a starving child in Africa. Stop whining about the Reddit if you're not willing to delete it because of greed. 
Oh no! I like I said, the point of this conversation was a compromise. Uh, we're gonna make a rule: no hate threads, and uh, people are either gonna follow that or they're not, and then the decision will be made um, on what to do if, uh, depending on what happens. That's the point of this conversation. Are you still having a party on the 22nd? I'm trying to go. Uh, yeah, I don't really know the exact date yet, but uh, I do want to have a party sometime this month. Paul the First have never donated to you before, but highly respect you, and have been watching just prior to your Twitch ban. I am so proud you have finally found the courage to speak about how to really feel. Yeah, dude, I, I've been I've been very uh, afraid of to speak how I really feel, but um, this is actually how I really feel, and the wine's really helping me push it out. Um, so the definitions of a hate thread. Memes are okay. Let me tell you. Let me show you. I have examples. Memes are okay. Hate threads are not okay. Um... I mean, you're just gonna have to use common sense for this one. Like, I don't really know. If you want to post like a Photoshop thing of somebody, like, bro, this is a meme. Like, this is funny, right? But then if you have this photo with the title being "fuck this person, fucking f faggot, fucking retard, pedophile, fucking like weird shit," right? And I'm not talking about just this person. If it was tracksuit or anything else or whatever. Any, literally anyone. Like, just use common sense, like, on what a hate thread is. And if your, th if your post gets removed, then try again. Different wording. Like, I don't really know what to say, dude. Um, are fat jokes going to be banned as well? Um, yeah. I mean, Hondro, if somebody posted a picture of you on Reddit and was like, fuck this fat retard, that would be something that gets removed. Because there's no reason to have that on there other than to make you feel like shit. Fuck the Reddit. The Reddit is complete AIDS. Delete it. If it didn't exist, none of these problems would exist. Reddit is dictating everything. You wouldn't have to worry about Sam, TSA, Kimberly, etc. But here's the thing, Hond I don't know about that one, but here's the thing, Hondro. If somebody was like, Hondro looks like Winnie the Pooh, that's, that's a meme. I would say that's a meme. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't delete that. But if they were just like, Hondro's a fat retard, I would delete that. You know what I mean? So, like, there needs to be some humor into it. Like, they're not just fucking blind hate. Why are you censoring your TDS now? Skip my last donation. Um, I don't know. I only censor one word, and you all know what word that is, so. I mean, I think I, at least. When are you going to stop streaming about your soy boy emotions and actually attempt to provide content? Um... Yeah, I mean, content should be provided. I agree with that, but I'm just well, caught I'm up at the moment. Myself. So I'll remove all negative people that my broken brain deems to be toxic. Kick everyone. Since they're Reddit, it's everyone else's fault. There's one common denominator you spat. You? I mean, but I've been, I, I, I try to improve myself as a person. And, um,. I mean, this can go on forever. I'm not going to talk about it. Like, I try to improve myself as a person. People like to hold shit over me. That's the problem. I put it to you that the Reddit has always been toxic. Its fuel is changing for the better. At the same time, you shrewdly cultivated it for promotion and content. I agree, and I fucked up doing that. I should have no Reddit done it equals differently. No reaction equals no hate equals happiness and freedom to stream. Purge the community. Sure, it will be painful because the Reddit is part of you, but you don't need it. You can grow again. Well, I don't really want to purge anything, but you said you don't like your own stream. Don't watch your loser. Okay, thank you, dude. I mean. No entry sign. Delete Reddit. No entry sign. How many of you in the chat even use Reddit? That's what I want to know. in the chat. What even is the percentage of people who use Reddit? Because here's Mr. the Mr. Poseidon, if SSJ is so sad about Reddit, tell him to come over here so we can yell positive things at him. That's not what I'm trying to say. Listen, 
I'm feeling a little bit of the wine, but I don't. I, I never want to have this conversation again, chat. I really don't, because this is not a fun conversation to have. Um, I've always been afraid to say what I'm saying right now because I would get extremely attacked on the actual Reddit. I'll get like I'll get attacked. I'm gonna get. I'm probably getting attacked right now on Reddit. Um. But it's actually how I feel. <laughs> you know what I mean? People want me to be real. They want me to stop lying. Well, this is how I actually feel. Here, I'll do a straw poll. Do you use Reddit? And the Reddit does stem a lot of uh, where my negative feelings come from. Reddit has saved my butt many times. Reddit has made content better many times. But... I, there comes a point where it's like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And that's why the ultimatum has been made. We are going to make a rule to stop hate threads. If the Reddit does not want to change that rule, then I will lock the Reddit or delete it. One of the fucking two. CX in the chat. And I will give the Reddit... A week to, to try to stop being so fucking pessimistic. I wasn't with you at first, but after hearing you out, I get it. Fuck it, just remove the hate threads. Now please leave the desktop and go do something. CX in the chat. And here's the thing. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of good people on Reddit. That's why this is so hard. But at the same time, I have to look out for myself and the people around me. And damn, it's makes it, it makes it hard. But yeah, I should get off the desktop, you're right. But we're just talking at the moment, so I apologize. Then don't do anything. If you can't stream, don't complain when Therese hate threads. Streams equals no hate threads. Trust me. What happened to you? You used to have thick skin. Now you let jokes get to you on Reddit. Get real. Reddit has always been about memes. No fun anymore. Okay, let's go see. Hold on. Let's see what memes are on Reddit today. This might sound harsh, but last Valentine's Day I cried. This year I'm going to Disneyland, the happiest girl in the world. This is not a meme. You're posting this to make me feel bad. This is what happened last time. Ice challenged someone to a fight. That's a meme, I would say. Hampton Brandon got ice locked up in his house. Real statement ever made. Hampton Brandon's a fucking retard who's homeless. And, f and is in Phoenix, avoiding getting arrested because of warrants. Imagine wanting to live his life. Not a meme, not funny, just a statement to try to put me down. This uh, could be classified as a meme for sure. Not a very good one, but sure, it has that, uh, that meme sort of look. Okay, here's some memes. Let's see here. This guy is literally middle finger to high phonics. Like, because he, literally because he's my friend. <laughs> You're saying 500 people apparently say fuck high phonics because he's being my friend. So that's not a meme. That's dog shit. Um, this is funny. You were supposed to be one of us, not become a yes man. <laughs> Imagine hating high phonics because he's my fucking friend. Because he's not a... Because he's a yes man. Like, dude, come on. Like, that's, you don't know. Like, these, you don't know what a yes man is. <laughs> like, at all, dude. He literally told me to, on stream yesterday, he's like, you're a faggot, kill yourself. Like, as a joke, obviously, on his stream. But that's not a yes man. Um, point made. Dog shit. Absolute garbage. All right. So let's go on this results. Let's see how many people use this. Pretty close. For 2,200 votes here, it's pretty close, not going to lie. 41% to 59%. That's not bad at all. Um, oh, that's not much of a difference at all. It's like almost 20%, but it's like uh, a sacrifice that I would be willing to make if uh, it came down to it. And it sucks for the positive people, but there's always Discord, and Discord's great. See you guys in two weeks after his temper tantrum. Thank you, dude. 
start watching you. About a month ago when I lost my stuff, ha ha. Thanks for making me laugh through a rough time. Come the iron. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. CX in the chat. Th thank you, Theory. I appreciate that, homie. I think the conversation's done. Oh, we're, we're, I think we got through it. I don't think there's much more to say about this, to be honest with you. So. Just you don't know. Just keep talking. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that, homie. I went. Th I ripped through this wine pretty quickly. I am. <laughs> Paul, please stop drinking. I'm a little. Ugh. Alcohol is a depressant, and it has long-lasting effects, up to a month. Yeah, I agree. Um. <laughs> I know, dude. I just I needed this wine to help. Stop being greedy and there. whiny then and delete it. Surely your friends and your mental health is more important than Reddit and money. One hundred percent, it is. Um, but I'm also there's a lot of good people out there that you know. If Reddit goes away, they might be lost in life, and I don't want to. I don't want them to feel like that. Thank you, Andre. Though I appreciate the Watch member, dude. Watch your own chat, not me chat. YouTube chat is so gay, full of normies. Also, you know it's never gonna end. So quit right now will be simpler. Do it then, loser. Delete it. Why are you waiting? Just delete Reddit, it's pure cancer. Well, I'd rather give the ultimatum as like a one last fucking hoorah, one last th hopefully like thing. If it doesn't work out, then, f then so be it. Never forget Horse Shabay. Hypocrite Andy. Thank you, dude. I've, I've, I've improved as a person since Horseshoe Bay, though, but thank you very much, dude. Click on me so people can see my games, Paul Lilly. <clears throat> thank you. SSJ is the most toxic person in your life, but for some reason you decide to suck him off. Kick SSJ. SSJ is the most toxic person. I will say this. SSJ does have his toxic tendencies, 100%. <clears throat> But he has uh, put me in a position where I can save money for the first time in three years. You want to see my bank account? Let me show you my bank account. Relatively speaking, me being a large streamer, it's really not where it should be. Like As a large streamer, I should have a lot of money saved, especially from the money I've earned. And guess what? I don't have anything saved. I spent a lot of money on content. SSJ has put, me in a, has put me in a position where I can still do content and actually save money at the same time. First time in my life. Okay. That's awful. Com relatively speaking. I know it's not, I shouldn't show my money now, but I know that. But I'm just telling you, like, I'm finally able to start saving money because I don't have any bills and that's fucking great. So SSJ has done a lot for me and I, I really do thank him for that. Are you kidding? You're making your career fall for SSJ and your Okay, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. I will try that. to explain why things are going south. It's your environment, Paul. Hey, it made you lose whatever made you special, guy, be it relatability or personality. Oh. You have become a relatively yeah. normal person. Uh, I don't know if I say I'm normal. I'm pretty fucked. Uh, who is it? He says he's from Las Vegas. He said that next time he's in LA, he can come over. I don't know when he shot from. Could have been months ago. Oh, God. All right, let me see who it is. Oh, can you tell him to come here? Yeah. I'm not a normal person. I'm fucked in the head. I'm, I'm, I'm a fucked up person. Your right burger is toxic as fuck. Why doesn't it get kicked from the fucking network, dude? No one likes him. Can you just kick him off? He's not loyal to the network anyway. I would Chevy believe that. Well, look who it just is. be you. The Reddit is gone. All of you accept it and move on. What's up, bro? What's up, brother? How you doing, homie? Big nose and do content. Say hi. Piece of crap. We're neighbors. F burger for F and Kim. Okay, thank you. Um, what's up, dudes? I know. I, I remember. I remember you. I don't know if you guys remember him. He's he was on my stream before. What's up, guys? Um, what's up, homie? This is my brother, actually. It's oh, you. more wine. Oh yeah, we pink, want to see Oh, pink, turn. pink Moscatos. Yes. <laughs> Great. Hey, thanks, yes. thanks, guys. Appreciate it. What are you doing here? 
Um, well, so you told me to come by a long time ago. And you kind of gave me shit about it. And it made me feel bad. What did I say? You told me to come by your house in L.A. anytime. But, but, I didn't live that close to you in L.A. I kind of live in Nevada. Uh-huh. So, pretty much my dad lives here, like on White Oak. And, um, <clears throat> White Oak and uh, Ventura, right here. So, as soon as I, I saw the house, it's, it's really funny because... I've known about this house like my whole life. Like I've lived here in this area like my whole life. This house was built in like 2015, wasn't it? Um, it's. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not. It's not that that old. I've actually been in this house before you guys moved here. I don't remember what the kid's name is. I think his name was like. Fucking. Yeah, you probably shouldn't say what his name is. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say that. Yeah, but no, I, I actually I've been in this house before as like a when you had like parties and shit, back in the day. Okay. And uh, yeah, I don't think he's been here for a while, so. Well, that's cool, I knew then. where it was, so I was like, fuck, I'm gonna say hi to fucking Ice Poseidon. Oh, well, that's cool, man. Well, shit. Uh, I he's mean, my brother. So not, nice dude. to see you. Did you did nice of to course. You? If y'all want to just, like, I'm streaming right now, so if y'all just want to, like, go downstairs, that'd be sick. And oh, just, like, yeah. chill or something, that'd be cool. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Oh, yeah. I didn't even expect to see you right now, dude, but I'm glad. You didn't to see expect to see you. me at my own house? I didn't expect, like, you to be welcoming. I thought you were, like, <laughs> under the, like, see, behind like, the scenes. I thought it was, like, really, So like, he, he was the mastermind man. of the whole plan of the, I lived down the stream. The street. He was the mastermind. He's like, bro, you got to go <laughs> and fucking say what up to him. And honestly, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really honest with you back then. So, what do you mean you weren't honest with me? I wasn't completely honest. Like, I, well, it never came up. Like, when you asked me, like, why didn't you show up? Like, I have a kid. I have a son. And it's... You have a kid? A, yeah. <laughs> okay. I have, a, I have a two-year-old son. And uh, pretty much, like, it, I was the only one taking care of him, like, for a while. And now, like, I, I have much more flexibility. Because I, I pretty much, you know, I work sometimes. I do Uber, so I work whenever, you know, and then whenever I'm free... I come down to my dad's house and we chill and he literally lives like a block away. Oh, okay. So, so the fact that, you know, you, you moved so close, it was like easier for us to come back. Like the LA, would, that would have been a, a trek for us. Pretty mm. much, I've been watching you for like a year and a half and like I sent him over to stream snipe you in Vegas. And cause I'm like, he didn't, he had no idea who you were. He just does what I tell him cause he's my brother. Yeah. So I was just a brother. And he told me at the time he lived like his dad or whatever lives in the area. That's where I, that's like me, I here. He actually, he actually showed me, he's like, bro, he's Ice just moved like, right. to this house. I'm like, bro. I know, it's, I it's sick. I don't stream normally. I think it's kind of like... It's, it's, no, not, it's, not, it's not weird. It's fine. It's normal. But I'm kind of streaming right now. So if y'all want to just chill, okay, I'll dude. be uh, down later. It's so unreal. All right, then, dude. Thank you. All right, later, dudes. Thank you. Uh, Lindsay, thank you, Defo, for the member, dude. Appreciate that, homie. And thank you, Mikey. Appreciate that, homie. People in chat. Ice is only human. Do you think he has the answers? He is going through trial and error and what works for him and what doesn't. For now the Reddit is a toxic credit you self-sabotage. Ouch. I just hit my leg against the table. It is Reddit's fault. Paul Ding Ding Nino 2019. Blaming Reddit for everything. I cultivated the Reddit to how it is today. But when I try to improve it and it doesn't want to improve, that's where the problem lies. Maybe a big Reddit mean contest. It will be good. We can sprinkle. Oh, these donations are so far back. Hey, I heard the chat needed security. Yeah, I you just let those guys in. The biggest piece of human garbage on the planet, and I'm going to start watching Burger and Sam. What's that? Can I just park in the driveway? Who? Me. Instead of on the sidewalk. You just let a bunch of guys in. I can't see. It's it's all open. Can I just? What do you, what do you mean? You just let two guys in. Yeah, because it's just open. The gate's all open. But you're security. You're supposed to take care of that. I can't see from from that from this side. What do you mean? Where were you? On this side. Where were you standing at? I'm right outside the middle gate. Like the, the one with the you know the doorknob. You're supposed to walk around. I'm, I am every once in a while, but no, constantly. Otherwise, people right. can't get in. Well, can I just still drive in the, put in, go in the driveway? Or? Yeah, you can put it in the driveway. Sure. Okay. Uh, PD said he sent you the DM, so. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Thanks, dude. I'm out to you. I love how you expect people to be real with you, but you fake your relationships with everybody around you, Lil Z, Burger Sam, etc. Everyone you fake relationships with, you call them fucking retards. 
I actually had a real friendship with Sam. Uh, Burger Planet. You know, I was trying to be nice with him, but it just, that's why I haven't hung out with him in a while. It just hasn't worked out like that. EBZ, I actually did like the Hyphonics thing. Really put a bad taste in my mouth, so. Bro, you have helped me and so many through tough times. Keep your head up, dude. Energy vampires are out here, man. Protect yourself seriously. Energy vampires. I mean, that's a good way to put it. CX in the chat. That shit's real. I didn't think it wasn't, but it is real. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Imagine being a 24-year-old man that is scared or nervous of Reddit and neckbeards grow some balls. Soy boy number two. Imagine being a 24-year-old man that is scared or nervous of Reddit. Um, well, I've done this for three, almost three years now. Not really scared or, not that scared or nervous of Reddit per se. Yeah, I am. But not that per se. I'm scared of everybody in my life leaving me because of it. That's what I'm scared of the most. Please read my last donations. Got scammed. The Reddit has to go, dude. There will be no hate and you will be free to hang out with you one and have the best streams. Happy ice is content ice. Do poll. Oh, that would be great. I mean, I haven't really been that happy in a while, so. I'm not really depressed. I'm just content. And that's not a good feeling either. Content is not a good feeling. You're not the same because you're missing the love of your life. Let me say it out loud. Caroline BTW. God, don't ever, please don't. No. Caroline was also not a great, she was a little Reddit toxic. Reddit is like your dying dog. You don't want to put it to sleep because you love it. But it has rabies and it's biting and infecting you. Sucks. <laughs> I've stopped posting on Reddit because only hate threads and negativity gets upvoted. It's pointless to put any effort into memes when it gets downvoted immediately and no one sees it. I just gave up. It happens, unfortunately. Remove toxic people and fans. Cancer sometimes. Sub. I am now mentally exhausted <laughs> at this point. Um, Paul always, always, always remembers the bulk majority of your fans. I'm talking 80% or more are not on Reddit saying negative and bullshit things about you. We don't say anything and we love you as person. CX in the chat. Thank you, dude. But not Marley on your dad network, which other streamer can minge with a list of celebs and troll like him can wake the fuck up if you are actually one for talent. For fuck's sake. Listen, man, can you reply to my Twitter DM? I think Dude. I'm the only one that would take the butler challenge serious. Just want to talk before I waste money on the flight. There's so many. Bro, I'm going to have to, like, scam, like, 50 donations like off the PC right now. Like, there's literally 50 donations that are just behind. Like I, you need to stream. Once you stream consistently, the hate will stop. Period. See? Not, let's see, the conversation is so far behind. We already went through that. The conversation is so far behind at this point. So I'm at this just scam. Just because people are starving in Africa doesn't mean your own issues don't matter. Bad argument. Uh, okay. Time to be an alpha about your own community. Don't lock or delete the Reddit, though. Ban hate threads, but not... Thank you. I mean, I, I, I'm banning hate threads. I think my computer tower is crapping out and also go to Mexico. I'll get killed in Mexico if I stream there, probably. Yeah, I'll get swatted and I'll just delete die. Delete the Reddit, delete the Discord, private the YouTube chat. Only hang around, even only stream once a month if you want. Just quit Snowflake. The Reddit is gone, move on you, itch. You small D big nose. Well, dis Discord's a lot nicer. I like Discord a lot. I really do. Hold on. Let's, uh, I mean, I like this. I mean, Discord can be fucking with AIDS sometimes, but it's a lot more manageable. It's a lot more manageable than Reddit. Reddit is very much unmanageable. And that's the problem. I want to, I want to try and talk to an admin on Reddit so I can try to like, 
get the at least to get out of quarantine, bro. Like you know what I mean? That would be great. I fucking hate that quarantine, dude. It makes it so fucking hard to make it not AIDS. But the, the Discord's a lot nicer. CX CX is AIDS. Like CX is literally the Discord version of Reddit. It's AIDS. But chill, it's a lot more chill. Like there's two voice channels. You got CX, which is AIDS. You got chill, which is pretty cool. Then you have not safe for all this other shit. But the, these are the two main ones, right? So I really recommend people uh, check out Discord. It's really, really nice. Um, okay. Paul just have no one check Reddit fluke that cancer. I'm driving to LA from Florida to teach you a lesson, nega. Oh, and dude, I told people, I told people all the time, don't even look at Reddit. I told, I, but they just do. They can't help it, bro. Like, I, still I hated it and Never realized mind. how fucked up they are. I messaged the channel about how it's fucked that we are messing with emotions and they banned me the next day after an argument. They're all virgins with no life. Starting drama on your Reddit. Paul, you talk about attacking on Reddit when you allowed someone like Brendan attack me. I actually had respect for you. You would not even have a serious conversation off stream with me. This stream is not fun to watch. It's making you look toxic. If you really care about the fans and provide content, do something instead acting of acting like a prick on stream and baiting donations. I think this is a very important conversation to have on stream. I think it's showing a large amount of improvement in myself. I don't think this makes me look toxic. Maybe I'm wrong. I think uh, this is showing a lot of self-improvement because a year ago, Six months ago, two months ago, I would have never done this shit because I would have been scared or whatever. And just uh, right now I'm doing what's good for me because um, I'm like in a really bad mindset. So LA's AIDS and Coke field and a Coke field nightmare. Uh, LA is AIDS, but we're in a good part of LA. This is Tarzana is like a, the chill part of LA. And this vape is actually really nice. Thank you, dude. Is Chicken Chan still alive? Also, love you guys. Don't let the haters Ooh, get I don't down. know who Chicken Chan is, but thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. I don't know who the fuck that is, though. Time to start a town ice. I mean, a town would be nice. Uh, this guy, this guy's right about it, but it's my fault. And but let's, let's that's why I'm coming to this compromise. Man, the f up. Nobody wants to see three hours of you baiting donos. Give us some damn content for once. And that's for Reddit. The problem is you for allowing it to begin with idiot. I'm pretty. Then uh, kick Cassandra Fats literally there for personal gain. Replace her with Aaron, who's been loyal for nine months. Um, I mean, Aaron has been loyal, a lot more loyal, that's for sure, dude. This Two I'm. More. The heat will stop. Get a schedule. I'm gonna go drink with Blade, dude. I can't. I gotta stop with this drinking as well. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hang out with Blade. Uh, on, let's turn the live view on. Hang out with blade or something dude because these donations are like literally 20 minutes behind there's so many if i scam your donation i'm so fucking sorry um i just it would literally take an hour for the all of these to go through so i have it paused right now so uh the reddit wants the best for you but it's hive mind tendencies are often misguided it romances it romanticizes the past and fully commits to the wrong idea most of the time update and guide us better paul yeah, but there's a lot of sabotage as well, and there's like I try, dude. I'm 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 trying right now. Okay, I'm trying to guide it better now. So it's, it's not gonna be easy, but I can. And if it doesn't, if nobody wants to cooperate, then it's got to go. All right, I'm gonna get off the computer then. Hyphons wasn't defending you, dumb dumb. You felt threatened because he gets to live in a house for free, and that was being threatened by someone criticizing you. I, I don't I don't think so, dude. Because like I I disagree. I, I think High Phonics a good dude. And I I think he was just being my friend. Um. All right, I'm gonna fucking oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna go hang out. Let me get the live view on and shit. Um, I'm gonna go pee real quick. Cause I drink like ha like a good portion of this wine. I'm gonna just read out when I get I back. We're gonna go on a live view, okay? Get back on track. A drink to you. Don't scam me, hear me out. Why do you say and blame everything on Reddit and say shy eat like pandering to Reddit, etc.? Instead of looking at things you did bad, you blame your most loyal fans. Come in my ass.
The other day, my college professor said he only has three classes a day. That's three hours of work a day. Surely it is more work outside of class. I wonder if chat will say that that job is easy as well. Reddit went on strike and caused you to change. Maybe it's time for you guys to go on strike from Reddit. Can you just quit streaming already? You clearly dislike the community you created and you clearly have issues. Stop streaming, get a job and stop complaining. Also fuck YouTube normies. Fuck CX. Can't handle Reddit. Fuck over Sam Uberib's wow the truth hurts, don't it ice? Ha ha and damn your subs are declining faster than High Phonics's hairline house ad. You fell off brew. You made track lie to the community. Banning Sam was the correct move. He was literally was challenging Reddit to create more heat and toxicity. Having someone like that around isn't very enjoyable. Reddit is same 20 guys making hate posts every day. 3-4 times a day. No memes. All hate. WTF. Cut him off. Last stream chat Omegle only in zero memes. Cut it. Type 1 in the chat if you think Ice is a big vagina. Type 2 if you know he is. Just so you know Bjorn is still on the network. He was removed for a day but then got put back on a hella now. Who put him back? Bro energy vampires are out here seriously. Protect herself and honor the truth bro you have helped so many as well as me through hard times man much love dude. CX in the chat. You criticize people but look how you treated Caroline. Shit is going downhill after you treated Sam bad. Karma. Delete Reddit. We'll make a new one. Go stream IRL with no gimmicks. Security guard fuck off. Stupidity guard. Can you reply to my Twitter DM? It's about the butler's stream. What did I just miss? Literally yelling at this guy for streaming in the streamer house. I'll press the fuck out of him. Fire him now or I'm calling Inza. Okay. $20, bro. I tried doing this twice already, but fuck it right All right. Dude. Sorry. This is gonna... Or some of these are going to have to be scammed. Okay, I'm going to turn the live view on. and It's already on, actually. It's just on that bench. So I'll, I'll see you guys in like 20 seconds here, and then we're going to go downstairs, okay?